In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at continuous and discontinuous functions. So let's start off with the definition of what it means to be a continuous function. So a function is said to be continuous at a value x in its domain, provided there are no holes or breaks in the graph at that value x. So when you define continuity, it's defined at a point, not as the whole domain at once. So you would say a function is continuous at x, at a specific value first, and at that specific value, when you go to graph your function, you don't want to see any holes or breaks in the graph. And we'll do some examples of this. Now, as you progress further um, and take other courses, in particular calculus, you'll come up with a more uh, algebraic definition, a little more accurate definition. For, but for our purposes, for pre-calculus, uh, the main focus is graphically. So graphically, at a value of x, we discuss continuity. And if that at that value, there's no holes in the graph, which we'll look at some examples, or no breaks in the graph, you would say it's discontinuous at x. If a hole or break does exist at that value of x that you're interested in, that's actually discontinuous at x, or in other words, they would say x is a point of discontinuity. So you can see, we'll see that terminology being used throughout pre-calculus. Now, a function is said to be continuous. So when you, what, what does that mean when you say a function is continuous? A function is continuous provided it has no points of discontinuity. So if someone says a function is continuous on its domain, that means for every single value of x that we look at, everything in the domain, there's no holes or breaks, which essentially means that the function itself, when graphed, has no holes or breaks in the graph. Let's look at some examples. So for our first example here, we can see that we have con continuity going all the way through here. Right here, we have a, sort of a jump or a break in the graph. And you can see here, right at, the, right at x equals to 2, we have a point of discontinuity. All right, let's take a look at another example. So with the following function here, again, the function is continuous from negative infinity until we hit very close to zero, and then greater than zero to positive infinity, the function is continuous in that domain. However, we have a break in the graph. You can see here, as I read the graph from left to right, we're going downwards, 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 and instantly we have this break where the function starts back up here at positive infinity, and then tending down, approaching zero, but never hitting zero. So in this situation here, we have a point of discontinuity at x equals to zero. And just to summarize here, this is the reciprocal function that you've seen before, and um, we have a point of discontinuity at x equals to zero here. This is actually a vertical asymptote, but still uh, falls under the category of a point of discontinuity. Let's look at another example. So for the following example here, you'll see we actually have a hole in the graph. This isn't a break in the graph like we had in the previous two examples. Function is continuous all along this interval from negative infinity up until we hit this number. Uh, you know, let's say this is minus one. And as I approach minus 1 here, we see we have a hole in the graph. And then the function continues on in this fashion. So uh, in this situation here, we have a point of discontinuity at negative 1. And that is caused by a hole in the graph. All right, so let's take a look at another example. In the following example here, see this is our sine function. And it's a cyclic function continuing on and on here. But you'll see here, as I follow along this graph here, we see no holes. We see no breaks in the graph. Therefore, this function is continuous on its domain. So therefore, you would say the sine of x is continuous. And just to summarize that below here, you can see that for every value of x that you take in the domain of sine of x, we have no holes or breaks. So because of that, you would say the sine of x is continuous. All right, that concludes today's lesson on continuous and discontinuous functions. Thank you.